as an activist working with the marginalized communities of the world, I think peace will come through justice. In an unjust world, there's a lot of unrest. There's a lot of conflict that are building up from the bottom. If we are serious about building peace, we need to address this unjust system at the bottom and address those unrest and conflicts that are happening around land, livelihood resources that millions of people are fighting for. So by resolving the problem at the bottom, I think we are advancing the agenda of peace in the world. And this is what is the demand by millions of people in the world today. See, Geneva Peace Week could propose non-violence as a lens for all decision making. Look, I mean, we have gender lens, we have environmental lens, so that we understand that our policies and programs are not creating disparity and environmental crisis. Similarly, there should be a non-violence lens through which we start looking at all our programs. Whether this developmental program that we are introducing or the policies that we are creating are going to create more violence and conflict and unrest in the world or not can be seen through from day one. So my proposal will be that we should start using a non-violence lens to measure all the decisions that we take. Mahatma Gandhi said, Whenever you contemplate an action, think of the poorest and weakest in the society. So for him, that was the lens. That he used the poorest and weakest as the lens. Can these policies and programs really liberate those people at the bottom? Now let us use the non-violence lens so that we don't create violence in the world. And when we don't introduce violence through our policies and programs, peace is going to be the byproduct of that. So I think we need to seriously think about non-violence and silence for all our programs and policies.